So I want you to walk away with this video understanding what VGDs are for centrifugal compressors and how we use them because they're a pretty interesting device, interesting concept, but if you really struggle to understand centrifugals, then they really don't make a whole lot of sense as to how they're doing what they're doing, even if you have a vague idea of you know what they're supposed to do at least. Hi, how you doing? I hope you're having a great day. I am Holden Schamberger with HVAC Time and Chiller Academy. I specialize in chiller systems. Today we're talking about centrifugal VGD. Now what does VGD mean? Well it's a Variable Geometry Diffuser. That's the acronym. And it's in the diffuser section of the compressor. Now the diffuser is your discharge side. It is a thin little chamber that is coming out of the centrifugal impeller. Now, I have an impeller here behind me just for kind of a visual reference, but we come out of that impeller into the diffuser section and then we pass through the diffuser and we get into the actual, the volute of the scroll as it comes around, makes this big swooping action to head into the condenser barrel. What that VGD is doing is, it is quite literally increasing the surface area and and to some degree uh, even reducing the gap even further in the diffuser but it's mostly uh, creating more surface area for us to convert our high velocity kinetic energy into a more usable static pressure that the the we know how to work with and what to do with and what we're used to reading so centrifugals are not positive displacement. They, they do not compress refrigerant in the impeller. We're actually just throwing the refrigerant and adding a lot of really high velocity to it, giving it a lot of energy, but then we have to convert that energy into uh, a usable pressure, a static pressure. So the diffuser, allows us to do that is a place for that energy to, or that refrigerant molecule with all that energy to, to come to to then be converted into static pressure just based off of making surface contact it's it's has all that energy but it's hitting the diffuser walls and that energy transfers into a pressure state and i, I hope that makes sense and that i'm Try my best to explain it without overcomplicating it because we, we really don't have to go that deep at this point. So what the VGD is doing, and it's part of the diffuser, the last part of that acronym, it is a ring that sits in that diffuser section, that, that thin chamber. And as we have typically lift issues, so lift is the difference between our condenser and our evaporator pressure, Lift has a very heavy impact on our surging and stall conditions. Uh, and so if you are if, if you don't know what those are, if you're not familiar with those concepts, I've done videos on surge and stall. So feel free to go back and check those out. But your VGD can help overcome the high lift. So by sliding this steel ring out into the diffuser space, We've created a significant amount of additional surface area for the, uh, the, the transfer process to happen. And what that actually does is it allows us to convert more of the, uh, the energy into being able to sustain a higher uh, static pressure so that it can't overcome the impeller's ability to push refrigerant through. Because if we overcome that surge curve, or if we get above our lift value that the impeller is able to maintain, then we will create a reversal of flow through that impeller. That will, that, that really destroys compressors. They do, they, surging is bad. You, you go straight into a, a hard surge state. So we are using that ring to help us overcome that lift and be able to better manage it. Now, why not just have all that, extra, that there and just stay there? Well, it, it affects our ability to move at, at a higher volume and move efficiently. 
And when we're not having a high lift issue and we've got plenty of load and we just need to move maximum amount of BTUs at the least amount of KW possible, well, having that diffuser gap fully open and streamlined and not having any VGD in the equation makes makes us or makes it to where we can maximize that efficiency and volume those BTUs. But when we're not in that condition, that's where that VGD can come in, and we're not at that point, or we're not trying to focus on let's maximize efficiency as much as let's protect this compressor. And now surging isn't good and it does affect your efficiency because in a surge condition, you're not having any kind of cooling action happening and your water temps are just going to rise up. And that's part of how a surge will correct itself. Not only is our refrigerant equalizing from condenser to evaporator through the impeller, but we're also having our water temps rise because we're not processing that load down. And so because our water temps are rising, um, we're reducing the actual lift through the compressor or across the impeller, which then helps us overcome the, the surge condition to begin with because, well, we need lower lift. Anyway, that is your VGD. End of the day, the, the main thing to understand is it is there to assist in the discharge side of the compressor in making better lift conditions and converting the refrigerant to a higher high static pressure more effectively and making it to where we can keep the compressor running as smoothly as possible in a variety of different conditions now, there are some newer compressors on the market that they actually involve the VGD in staging and load control as part of its process. That's a little more advanced side of it, but the same basic theory still apply. You know, as, as the compressor has needs to have more load, we can uh, back that VGD out of the way and allow a higher volume through there. Uh, but we also, we're going to have lower lift conditions because well we've got a higher load condition uh and then you know as the load backs off and such we can we can bring that vgd in, into the equation to help with that anyway that's not going to be i would say the normal for a long time that particular style the normal is going to be what we've talked about for the most part here uh it's there to help with lift and to manage surging conditions one of the more popular machines i see vgds on are the york yk uh, compressors and not all of them have it They're just specific series of them um they are an optional package but other people use them too you'll, you'll see them in carrier machines you'll see them in dunham bushes other people have a, a vgd package that they can they can put in there and does all the same science the same theory so yeah, there's your VGD, variable geometry diffuser. If this training was really helpful to you and if you really enjoyed this, please go check out chilleracademy.com. I will help bring you up from the ground up in the chiller world, chiller market, and allow you to have a, a, a comfort level to get out there, get in the field, and be successful in this industry at this specialty. With that, MTT, make the time for your family, for your spouse, for your kids. They really need you around. I'll see y'all later.